Oh, I'm sorry about that, Pathfinders. Yeah, so if you watch that other clip of this, uh, my bro was calling to talk to me about some stuff. So anyway, as I was saying, you know, I want to know where are all the other lower life forms. I wonder if anybody snuck a Yogg on board one of those damn vessels. You know, because that would be awesome to put the Yogg up against the crack, the, um, the cat and stuff. Yeah, you never know, because people have done stupid stuff in our reality. I wouldn't expect things to have changed. I would have expected, you know, uh, since they are called arcs, I would have expected someone to pull a Norse arc and just take two of every species. Of course, in this case, they've taken 20,000 strong. I don't know why that bird just flew up here and perched right at the top of my window. Anyway, yeah, don't worry, I'm not superstitious, and if I can help it, I don't plan on dying anytime soon. But if I do, and this may be my last broadcast, thank you guys for paying attention. But anyway, you know, I'm wondering, okay, maybe somebody, um, may have snuck a couple of yogs on board, and you know, uh, if you, like, really get through the game, you'll find, like, super stuff uh, about, uh, Nakmore Kesh and other things. I'm not gonna ruin that for you because I didn't find them in the first run-through, but in the second run-through, I found some shit. I was like, damn, this shit's fucking awesome. I'm also not gonna ruin a thing about the writer thing unless you've already beaten the game, then you know what I'm talking about, but anyway, you know, I wanna know if anybody, like, um, snuck other animals on. Did anybody bring birds? Did anybody bring something outside of, uh, you know, the normal pets that you could get? Nobody bought fish. I'm kind of mad about that, that no one would have actually think to bought fish. But you got Salarians, so I'm pretty sure they got, um, DNA and things that they could have cloned to bring with them. They probably took a couple of cells from everything to just bring it along just in case. Because some Salarians actually have dealt with cloning and stuff like that. So I guess you could um you could say that they um may have bought this stuff. They may not have bought this stuff. It's kinda hard to say. But I would like to know where are those things I named in the first video. And the first video was like fourteen minutes. This probably isn't gonna be that long. And the only reason there's three of them is because I got interrupted before I could get going with what I was talking about. But it would be nice to actually be able to have pets the model concept hasn't changed. I still have the model of the Normandy and the model of the Nomad, but I don't have the models of anything else. So I guess by the time I run it a fourth time, I will probably be able to uh, have done everything and unlocked everything and do some stuff. And by the way, there are some puzzles that are not in that book that's in here. And my advice is for you to check right here on YouTube not on my channel, because I don't do puzzles very well. That's why I had to buy the book. Because you, you could spend, like, almost a day trying to figure these fucking puzzles out. And I have spent almost a day trying to figure out these puzzles. And, you know, I've come to the point where I have to put the game down. I have to go search on YouTube and watch all the videos from, like, um, Mass Effect Follower and all that. And, um, I can't think of the other guy's name. But, you know, I have to watch it. I have to pause it. And then I have to put, put the game in and, like, make sure it's the right puzzle. And then put it on and things will generally just work out and there are there are things I'm like well I didn't do this the last time because I didn't discover it and then I discovered it the second run so I'm a third run I know where shit is so you know I go right to the places that I go I'm trying to play the game in order and I've, I've beaten it in my second run I've beaten it um planet by planet which kind of like fuck shit up and it also unlocked um and then Garin who's in the um the cultural center but outside of that, you know, when I went the first time, it didn't unlock none of that shit, you know. And then I couldn't, I, I did all the rules and everything, and I got 100% and everything, and it just, um, it didn't unlock shit. But my second run, you know, I unlocked a lot of stuff. So I'm like, okay, cool. So if I unlock this crap, you know, I'm, I'm doing my thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, doing my thing. So hopefully in this third run, I will unlock everything, including the rest of the writer's secret, because for some reason, I can't get that to work. I don't know if it actually is a uh, ability to release the writer's secret, but um, if it is, then I haven't unlocked it, and I haven't been able to find a video on it on YouTube, so it might not be. Maybe they'll make that into a DLC. Maybe they won't. And I, like I said, I'm not going to spoil that for you. That's going to be the one thing that I'm not going to talk about on any of my stuff. But um, as far as uh, Scott and Sarah, you know, my guys are Asian. So they're cool. They basically were meant to be Native American, but 
there's only so much tweaking you can do and you can't add a feather dressing. So, no. And you can't give them um, Native American garments. So basically everybody's wearing an initiative garment. Which also, if you're listening Bioware, maybe you guys ought to give us more clothing options. I mean, we should have more casual clothes. You shouldn't just have to wear uh, pants and a shirt. And neither should Scott. You know, he should, he should be able to come in there like um, like Liam, you know, all cut up and stuff. He should be able to come in there, rip, take off the shirt, wear a white beater or something. And they don't get that option. You get a pair of pants and a shirt. Long sleeves or short sleeves. And it's not even really short sleeves. It's like bathroom sleeve. It's like, you know, as a person who was in the army, we weren't even allowed to roll our sleeves up unless it was heat cat 5. And we could only go this high. So... You know, for casual wear, if you're going to wear something around the Nexus, you know, it should be a short sleeve, it should be like this, you know, or a wife beater. And with all due respect to everybody else, Sarah should probably have more options because she's a chick. You know, she should have a dress or a short skirt. I mean, you've already shown titties, so why can't you give them some kind of decent damn clothes? Maybe a rock a thong. Because if you're Fem Shep, you know, Fem Shep for the um, PC, you can run around butt ass naked. Hey, I've seen it. You know, wish that it could have happened for the PlayStation, but, you know, it happens. But also, before I close out, you know, there are, um, there are plants and everything, but there's, like, um, you have a rat. But I don't have a space hamster, I have a rat. Which is basically the same damn thing. But the space hamster boo was much cuter than Shady the fucking rat. And well, I can't have a Pajak, that really sucks, because that, you know, it kind of makes you feel bad with the Redeemer code. And um, I don't have the PlayStation phone number. I had it, but I have no idea where it is. So I could call the PlayStation store and be like, yo, my, um, my Redeemer codes ain't working on my PlayStation. So um, something ain't right here. Anyway, there's also, uh, there's no, you know, there's not enough um, extra fun stuff to do. You know, okay, movie night was cool, but there should be more. You know what I'm saying? Like, make more DLCs. I mean, hell, we've already paid, like, 60 some bucks for the game. Make the DLCs cheaper. But also, uh, more weapons, like, from the Milky Way would be nice. Because some of the guns that I have, I've only used Milky Way guns. I haven't used anything that overheats because I have that, that luck. When If you haven't played the very first game where you pick, like, the guns that look exceptionally cool and, um, they overheat exceptionally fast, you know, because I will always love the trilogy, especially game two, but so far, I will say that Andromeda is my favorite. It's my hand down's favorite now. I'm sorry, Shepard. I have really fallen in love with my Sarah Ryder. I'm going to hate to have to delete her ass, but it's probably going to happen when I do Scott because for some reason my PlayStation Home won't let me have an empty slot. Which is the main reason why I haven't tried to play Sky, because I don't want to delete everything I've worked so hard for on Sarah. So anyway, I'm closing out. This is James William Sr. This is Kung Fu Habit number two. I hope you guys are enjoying Andromeda. I hope you guys are thinking about the possibilities of this Korean DLC. Like I said, I don't believe anything that I hear on the YouTube channels is actually an option. And most of the time, the PlayStation or the PlayStation Store will send you a notification for like certain games. If you're into certain games, they'll let you know. And um, also, like, uh, you know, if you, like, have friends at GameStop, they'll also let you know. It's like, yeah, um, what we got DLC-wise coming to Andromeda? It's like, because Andromeda's really not that old of game yet. It only came out, like, last month. So here we are in mid-April, and I'm sure by now, most people have beaten it at least once. I have beaten it twice. I'm working on my third one, and I'm probably going to work on a fourth one. And for those who have a bad opinion of me playing as Sarah Ryder, you know what? Kiss my vagina. There you go, right there. Just kiss it. Kiss it. Lick it. Rub it down. You know, put it in your face. Kiss my vagina. Anyway, I like playing the femme characters because it's more challenging. Because as a man, you know, most people are going to respect you out of fear. Whereas a woman, you have to prove your shit, you know. And in the future, hopefully, everything will not be equal just word-wise. It will be equal, literally equal. And there's nothing that a woman can't do that a man can't do. 
except for a woman can have children, and the only thing she needs from a man is sperm. You know, but probably in the future she probably doesn't need that. But the way they talked about how Miranda was made, Miranda was made from sperm and not even a donor egg. So you know, I mean, he's just saying if you've been paying attention, Gil's um by. So yeah, you kind of gotta figure that one out, and um. I personally run Film Writer because I can have a relationship with everybody and don't feel weird. Where if I'm male writer, I'm only having a relationship with PB, Cora, Lexi. I don't really think that Torian's going to be a match because she's so massively tall. I'm sorry if that sounds a little um, uh, prejudiced because I'm a short guy in real life. And then um, um, the reporter because those are the only people, the only five women I'm sure you can have a relationship with. So when I do play a Scott, you better believe, oh, those chits are getting boned. They're getting boned all day. And if you if you um if you're familiar with the first game, it seems like only whoever's whoever's designing the games, it seems like the only uh, boobs they like to show are the Asaris. Oh, they did show Sarah Ryder's boobs if you playing Sarah Ryder, so that's your spoiler alert there. But you know, Sarah's got nice boobs. Really nice boo. But well, I'm also a titty man, so and um PV does too. So but um haven't really had sex with anyone else and in the second run I ran it with Liam and you have to have a relationship with Liam through the whole game. So you can't like cheat on him or none of that shit. Cause it, it's not really an option, I guess. I don't know. Because once she started getting serious with Liam, it was pretty much like when I met up with the Charlatan, she punched him in the gut. So it was pretty funny. So you know, yeah, it, it is what it is. I'm going to enjoy finishing my run because I only have like an hour or so if I have to get my niece off the bus and days of our lives will be on. So anyway, I'm James Winston. It's for having number two. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, by the time I'm posting this, it'll probably be about seven or eight at night because I'm going to get off this, um, but I probably not even remember that I even made these and then I'm going to post them. All right. I'm James Winston. It's for having number two. Be seeing you. Pathfinders rule. Oh yeah. Maybe Pathfinders are going to be the new thing like Spectres. Never know. Or maybe they're going to combine them. Be Spectres and Pathfinders. Like Avatus. I think he might be a little bit sweet. No. And when I say that, it's like me not trying to insult gay people. Alright. He might have sugar in his tank. The, the man might be gay. Alright. No. He's a Tory in him, but he might be gay. I don't really know. I don't really care. To each their own. I don't have anything against gay people. Yeah, I, I, I play Sarah Ryder. I make sure she's gay. Now, just to cover my ass on that, because if I was a woman, I'd be a lesbian. I've watched enough straight porn to know that, you know, that there looks like it hurts a bit. So, yeah, I'll be a lesbian. I'm James Winchie. This is Comfort Helping Number 2. I just offended all of you, and I'm sorry. So, to my 25 followers, again, I'm sorry. But be a pathfinder, and let's do this thing. Be seeing you.